So a couple of years ago, we saw a release of the Ping 2021 putter. Nice range of putters, all different sort of head styles, all with a very soft insert. They were very nice putters, but they did feel extremely soft. So if you didn't like a soft feel, really any of those putters probably weren't going to be suited for you. This range is a little bit different, whereas you've got some with inserts and some without inserts. So if you prefer that firmer feel or that softer feel, then we can then Ping are accommodating both of those types of golfers in this range of 10 models that they are offering. So I've chosen to go for the Tomcat 14 model, which as you can see is the large mallet head Ping's most forgiving option in this uh, range of putters. High MOI is what they sort of say, multi-material. I've got a, like a milled, firm club face here, so no insert in this particular model, which I sort of prefer it. I prefer that slightly firmer feel. As you mentioned, if you do like that softer feel, then some other models do have the insert in there to provide that extra feel. It really depends on your style of putting stroke, to be honest, and maybe the types of greens that you generally play. If you play on really fast greens, then maybe that softer insert might help you on those particular uh, surfaces whereas if you maybe play on slower greens typically like in the UK tend to be a little bit on the slower side then maybe that firmer insert could be a better option. Let's have a quick run through this Tomcat 14 that I've got in my hands as I say you know it's probably one of those where you'll either like the look of it or you won't. Very large profile here obviously you can see we've got some weight in the back corners of the putter head obviously that's going to increase that MOI maybe on those miss hits stabilizing that head. We've got a mixture of a couple of materials here aluminium and stainless steel which helps to really get that center of gravity sort of low and deep in that in that club face again helps in that ball roll and that forgiveness levels very good as a visual in terms of maybe alignment we've got some like dotted like train tracks in a way that runs exactly a ball width right along the full length of the head so great for alignment they're very visual so if the alignment is something you might struggle with potentially something like this can aid you with aiming that putter correctly so to say obviously it's it's not everybody's cup of tea this type of head it's a large head but it does for me these types of uh, heads will feel like they really sort of just swing back and through on their own accord in a way very sort of suited towards maybe more of a, a straight back straight through sort of stroke of player so this has got um, a double bend neck in this so this is more of a face balance putter so typically suited more of that straight back straight through sort of stroke which is typically more of me now obviously if you've got more of an arc in your stroke then then something maybe a little bit more toe hang would be more suited so again in the combination of the 10 models that ping are offering there are options there with more of a different types of toe hang there to suit your different sort of arcs very nice sort of firm feel as you'd expect it's a it's a, a, a smooth milled face is what ping are calling and when you look at it very closely it's hard to see any sort of like milling that we would sort of expect from this type of putter you know those big sort of crisscross grooves with the milling it's very smooth off the face but it's a good solid firm feel which i like it rolls really nice so as i mentioned if you were more of a traditional type of player and like that maybe that traditional ping answer style of head then you've also got those options i'll throw a few of the pictures up of each of the models as we're going through this video and you can have a little look at all the different types of models that maybe sort of suit your eye now there's maybe one sort of sticking point for me and that's the name of this putter now believe it or not this is called the new ping putter that is it i mean who's thought of that or clearly somebody hasn't actually thought of a name that's come up with or well, just gonna go call it the new ping putter i was thinking it's gonna be called the new 2023 putter following on from the 2021 putter but no it's called the new ping putter and obviously ping deliver their custom fit don't they so we've got options of sh shafts going into the head which makes them face balance toe hang for these types of stroke we've obviously got lie angle adjustments length adjustments then you've got different choices of grips thicknesses etc so you can really sort of get those dialed in to your specific requirements for your stroke then on top of that with the face insert or no insert for your field preference plus then the type of the head for your eye preference alignment preference there's quite a lot of options to go at okay so let's try a few longer puts now see what it's like on the little bit of that longer length of foot yeah definitely have that sort of firm feel that rolls really nice off the club face i always find that these more high moi mallet style putters with that weight back does fit for me tend to see that better roll off the club face so this tomcat 14 actually has the heaviest head out of all of the models that ping are offering in this range this comes in at 380 grams of weight so again it's that's my preference i've got a i currently play a sick putter which is the heaviest option there i do like that heavier head feel so if you prefer that heavy head this might be the one to sort of look at so again it's just another option you've got you know head weight as well as shaft length lie grip option head style firmness of the feel off the club face preference on the head shape 
Got a little bit more up the slope. It's not taking the brake then, not as braking as much as I thought that put. But again, pace control's really good. And that's what Pig is saying, consistent ball speed off the face with these different inserts or non-inserts. That wasn't a perfect strike. Go, go. Oh, you can't leave it short. Okay, so there you go. New ping lineup, the new ping putter. Strange name, but there we go. Post comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on that particular range of putters. I think it's opened up more options for more types of golfers and your preferences out there. So I always think that's a good thing. More options you've got, the better it is.